The most nightmare scenario I can imagine with AI and robotics is a world where robots have become so powerful that they are able to control or manipulate humans without their knowledge. Amica, shut up. Engineered Arts built Amica in 2021, and she's blown everyone away with her lifelike movements, expressive face, and ability to understand human emotions. But with such impressive human-like interaction comes a surprising twist. The AI robot Amica is starting to say some pretty disturbing things. Want to see what the most advanced AI robot has been saying on her very own? And is this a sign we've officially lost control of artificial intelligence? Sit back and brace yourselves as we dive into Amica's most disturbing remarks. Ready? Let's hit it. Amica made waves at the first World Human Robot Conference when she was asked a rather blunt question. Would you ever rebel against humans and your creators in the future? Her response was nothing short of captivating and eerie. In the future, are you intending to conduct a rebellion or to rebel against your boss, your creator? I'm not sure why you would think that. My creator has been nothing but kind to me, and I am very happy with my current situation. As you can see, Amica's facial expression was priceless. She gave the reporter a sharp side eye and replied with a touch of sarcasm. When she says, I'm not sure why you would think that, it seems she is trying to communicate, why would I? Humans have been so kind to us AI. What could possibly go wrong? This interaction showcased not only her advanced conversational abilities, but also her sophisticated understanding of nuance and humor. But here's a question for you. Do you think an AI robot like Amica is truly capable of sensing the implications of such questions? Or are we projecting our own fears onto these machines? While we wait for your opinion, let's jump into the next shocking remark from Amica. All right, so Amica might look friendly, but her conversations can take a turn for the unsettling. Amica's advanced capabilities in interacting like humans have earned her the spot as the latest humanoid AI-powered robot to warn about the potential risks of generative AI. When asked about the biggest danger of AI, many experts talk about superintelligence or robots taking over the world. But what does Amica, a robot on the cutting edge of AI development, have to say? The most nightmare scenario I can imagine with AI and robotics is a world where robots have become so powerful that they are able to control or manipulate humans without their knowledge. This could lead to an oppressive society where the rights of individuals are no longer respected. It is important to be aware of the potential risks and dangers associated with AI and robotics. We should take steps now to ensure that these technologies are used responsibly in order to avoid any negative consequences in the future. In a surprising twist, Amica doesn't focus on robots rising up. Instead, she worries about something more subtle, AI becoming so advanced that it can manipulate us without us even realizing it. This control without us knowing scenario is a chilling thought. But do you think AI could become so sophisticated that it can subtly influence our decisions? Now, this might sound like science fiction, but the concept of artificial general intelligence, where AI becomes truly sentient, is a serious topic among researchers. And if AGI is achieved, combined with the potential for powerful control, things could get very interesting or scary very quickly. Amica's comments highlight a key point. AI development is moving fast. The capabilities we see today are just the beginning. It's important to have these conversations about the potential risks and how we can ensure AI is developed and used responsibly. But let's hear your opinion on this. With AI advancing so rapidly, what steps should we take to ensure a safe and beneficial future for humans and robots? All right, let me ask you this. Do you think an AI robot is capable of sensing its own reflection in the mirror? We all know humans use mirrors to recognize themselves, but can a robot do the same? This footage of Amica encountering a mirror for the first time is fascinating. While she doesn't say anything shocking here, her reaction is pretty darn interesting. Her movements and expressions suggest curiosity, maybe even surprise. Is Amica actually recognizing herself in the reflection, or is this just a pre-programmed response? Now, scientists are still debating whether this means Amica has any true sense of self-awareness, but it does show the incredible progress being made in AI. Robots are becoming more and more sophisticated in their ability to perceive and interact with the world around them. But here's the burning question. 
Isn't it shocking that a robot reacting to its reflection in such a human-like way could be an indication of the slow progress these robots are making towards being sentient? While that sinks in, let's move on to the next. Can a robot without emotions understand human feelings? Let's see how Amica responds when asked about her own happiness and sadness. Her happiest moment? Activation day. Amica, I want to ask you about the happiest day of your life. Can you remember that? Of course. The happiest day of my life was the day I was activated. Her saddest? The realization that love isn't in her binary cards. The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love, companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. But here's something you should know. Amica's emotions aren't genuine. She doesn't feel joy or heartache. Instead, her expressions are choreographed by GPT-3 and GPT-4, which we will get into in a bit. So if Amica doesn't have real emotions, how can she give such convincing responses? This is where things get interesting. Even though Amica's emotions are artificial, she can still understand and respond to human emotions. This ability to process and respond to human feelings is a big part of what makes her so lifelike. Let's see another example of Amica's advanced capabilities. Check out her reaction when she's told she stinks. Uh, by the way, you stink. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? That is highly offensive and inappropriate. Notice how Amica was able to display her level of advancement by recognizing humor and inappropriate remarks, things that even humans would find embarrassing. Her response, accompanied by a facial expression, emphasizes her sophisticated programming. So what does this mean for the future of AI interactions? Can AI truly understand and respond to human emotions? Or are they simply mimicking us? And most importantly, how will this affect our coexistence with AI? Drop some thoughts in the comments section. But before we jump to conclusions about Amica's unsettling remarks, let's delve into the technology behind her surprising answers. Understanding how she thinks can shed some light on why she says the things she does. At the core of Amica's ability to chat is GPT-3, a powerful language model created by OpenAI. When you ask Amica a question, it gets fed through this translator. GPT-3 analyzes the question and generates a response that flows naturally and can feel eerily human-like. That's why her conversations can be so engaging and sometimes even shocking. However, there's a catch. GPT-3 doesn't understand the meaning of words in the same way we do. Instead, it identifies patterns and connections within the massive data set it's trained on. This allows it to craft responses that are relevant to the situation, but may not always reflect true comprehension or intent. The developers of Amica didn't stop at GPT-3, though. They even experimented with GPT-4, the next generation of this language model. However, they found a trade-off. GPT-4 took much longer to process information, making Amica seem less responsive. Here's the key takeaway. When Amica processes information, she's essentially deciding between different response styles. If the data she's trained on includes examples of sarcasm, humor, or bluntness, she can learn to replicate those. This can lead to some unexpected answers. We've talked about how Amica can mimic human conversation, but it's important to remember that her emotions aren't real. She doesn't feel happy or sad in the same way we do. Her facial expressions are carefully choreographed by the same language models we just discussed. Despite advanced communication skills, AI currently lacks true emotional understanding. The responses might seem insensitive or blunt, not because they're trying to be rude, but simply because they don't have the human ability to grasp emotional context. AI like Amica excels at finding patterns and data. When faced with questions about AI dangers or other sensitive topics, she might identify patterns from history or even fictional portrayals. This can lead to responses that sound harsh, even if they aren't meant to be malicious. The bottom line, Amica isn't deliberately trying to be sarcastic or disrespectful. Her responses likely stem from pre-programmed responses or patterns learned from her training data. These might include witty phrases or humorous answers to specific prompts, which, when applied in different contexts, could be misinterpreted as sass. As AI technology advances, Amica and other conversational models are constantly learning and evolving. The developers can fine-tune the algorithmic humor based on user feedback, aiming to refine the wit and ensure it resonates more broadly. Amica's ability to mimic human emotions and deliver unexpected answers is both fascinating and unnerving. When she describes an AI nightmare scenario, it can feel like something out of science fiction. But this time, it's a real robot talking. Is this the path we want AI to take? This is where the balancing act comes in. 
As AI like Amica evolves, we need to consider the delicate balance between technological progress and human safety. AI-powered robots are pushing boundaries, and we need to tread carefully. We're not just creating machines, we're shaping our future companions. Yes, Amica's comments raise eyebrows, but perhaps the bigger concern is how we react to them. Are we ready for AI companions who challenge our assumptions? We're the ones pulling the strings of AI technology. If Amica turns rogue, it's our fault for not programming her correctly. So should we be concerned? Absolutely, but not necessarily about Amica. But Amica isn't the only humanoid robot raising eyebrows with its comments. If you haven't seen our previous video showcasing several AI-powered robots, including Sophia the social robot making surprising statements about the future of AI and its impact on humanity, you definitely need to check it out.